Ah, bonjour, mes amis. Si ce n'est pas un title screen. Now that this is the title screen. So, welcome back to Minecraft. In our last episode, we completed Pythagoras' Bridge. In this episode, I'm going to go doing some caving again. Well, I have plenty of granite now, and I could do lots of work on making progress toward completing the mushroom farm. First, before that, I need some more resources. I want more diamonds so that I can get better tools. Uh, I almost used up the uh, diamond pick completely, so I need that. In this episode, we will be going caving again, which means returning to the mainland, and we get to use our bridge. All right, we are back. Let's take our screenshot. And there go my frames, huzzah. I have found that uh, sometimes I don't need to take the screenshot to get my frames to go up. Sometimes I do. Not a perfect solution. Hello, Mr. Spider. I don't remember inviting you. I guess that area is dark enough for them to spawn. Let's put down this. All right, good. Now I got some more string. I'm out of cobblestone. <laughs> I guess I will uh, have to make additional cobblestone picks if I'm going to use those later. Wow. You know you've been doing projects in the nether when you're running out of cobblestone. And I don't have wood either, but I should have more of that. Right? Right? <sighs> All right, well, I got these trees out here for a reason. Uh, I'm not going to cut this guy down. He's, he is my friend now. I haven't named him yet, but he is my friend. <sighs> of all the different farming types, I will tell you, tree farming, probably my least favorite. Okay, so I've cleared off all these trees here. Now I just gotta replant them. Uh, I was able to get enough saplings, uh, actually, to replace uh, all of them. I ended up getting more birch saplings than uh, Akekia would saplings, which is interesting. I uh, usually have a problem getting birch saplings. Okay, now I have wood. I can use that to make sticks. And with these sticks, I can make not a sword. One of these pickaxe. I can mine valuable materials. Sun is beginning to rise. Again, we have uh, spent the entire evening doing things other than what I wanted to do at the start of the episode. Fantastic. Where are the mushrooms? <laughs> all the way over here. All the mushrooms have left me. Why do you abandon me in my mine hour of need? All right. Into another. Well, despite the pigmen and the uh, scary sounds, this actually isn't that scary. Hello, Mr. Pigman. I didn't bring a bow or arrows. Eh, that's probably a bad idea. Do I have a bow and arrows over uh, at the other place? I think I do. Yeah, I think I do. Pretty sure I do. Like 75% sure. Oh, come on. Oh, Mr. Gast. No, no. Oh, come on. All right, I made it. I have a bow. Hooray. Uh, no arrows, though, although I have a piece of flint and a stick and an egg. Will you, will you drop a chicken? No. The world's not that nice to me. Whoa. What? Okay, I guess stuff's still, uh, still out here. What the heck? There's iron down here? Oh my gosh, how many episodes ago did I miss this? I know I collected iron from here before. Oh wow, that's embarrassing. Ouch. No, Mr. Creeper, no. Thank you for the arrow. Alright, got him. Whew! Put the bowl away. <laughs> Why am I keeping all the rotten flesh? Hey, I got a stone pick, though. 
I can uh, put the sword up here, and I have a shovel. I can put this back. Okay. So, my goal is to get materials. Why are these separate? Oh, because one's coarse dirt. Okay, so, uh, in the episode uh, where I found the sheep, I was originally planning on going this way to go do caving and whatnot, so I'm going to do that again. Ouch. And it's raining. Well, good thing I'm planning on going underground soon. Actually, what if I dig under Pride Rock? Oh, nice. Savannah's... <laughs> Savannah's don't experience rain. Nice. And there's like a little hole here. I think Pride Rock is telling me something. Wants me to dig right here. Alright, I will oblige. If I suddenly cut to uh, me hitting bedrock, that means that I found nothing. It's bat and spider, it sounds like it's this way. Okay, I'm staying back. Because now, twice I've had it where zombies just drop down out of nowhere onto me. Are they above me? Aha! And there goes my other stone pick. Man, I... Uh, look, I tunneled right over it. If I just kept going straight, I would have hit it. You gotta keep on the straight and narrow, kids. Don't be doing what your Uncle Youngblade be doing. Okay, that, that... Man, these spiders are really loud. Are they, like, right through here or something? Oh, there. <gasps> it's a dungeon! We did it! We did it! We did it! We found a dungeon! Finally! Oh, I was about to say, I was about to say, this sound, this, this sounds like it could be a spider dungeon, but I was like, no, no, every time I've said that, I've been wrong. Take that. That's the only arrow I have. Ah. Let's light this up a bit. Uh, okay, coming at dungeons from above is like the opposite of what you want to do. Oh, pardon me, we just wanted to dive in there, but that's a really bad idea. Come on, quit hitting me. There. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of spiders. Okay. And there's the bat. <laughs> Thank you for leading me here, bat. Okay. Hmm. All right. All right. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's go down on the side of this. Like so. Oh nope. Take it. Wrong wrong slot. I wanted a torch. Bested it. Nope. Nope. Oh, almost. I've almost bested it. There. Now I bested it. Was oh, there still another one down there? Well, I bested the dungeon. There's none in the dungeon. Now it sounds like there's skeletons. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Yeah, you weren't expecting that one, were you? How does it feel to get pegged out of nowhere? Only this time by a sword. At least I was man enough to come and hit you directly with a sword. Uh, I think I have some anger issues with skeletons. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at our reward. <gasps> we got uh, the gold music disc. Fantastic. We can listen to 13 now. We got wheat and bread, so I can heal my heal myself. Although I guess uh, mushroom stew actually would completely okay. It didn't completely. Huh. Thought it gave me four hunger joints. Okay. Well. And three buckets. Now this would have been for a very, very successful bucket quest. So now I shouldn't run out of buckets. Well, I have bested you now. You are the last of your kind. 
Have a tea. Goodbye. Oh, you're not the last of your kind. He's the last of your kind. Let's uh, get cobblestone. There. Oh, and I'm out of torches. Um, but don't I have... I still have this one stick. That's all the wood I have? Oh, no. <laughs> well, uh, oh, look, I got some gold. Well, this is going to turn out to be a very short KV expedition, but we did it! We finally found a dungeon. Uh, see, I knew... Pride Rock was telling me. Pride Rock was telling me, dig here. And I have what you seek. It has been a, a mountain of riches. Ooh, okay. I can use one of these buckets to grab that. Make sure nothing walks up behind me, though. <laughs> and that's how you die in lava. <sighs> okay, well, despite finding all of this coal... I'm going to still have to call an end to this expedition, because I have no sticks. It was really stupid of me to just bring torches to go caving. Oh. And we're back where we started. Nice. I wonder what's down this hole. Oh, and we're still back where we started. Darn, I hope that that led somewhere. Okay. Well, oh, come on, back up. There we go. All right, well, we found our first dungeon, and now we can go back up to the surface so I can collect, um, where'd it go? Oh. 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 Huh? There. At least I found plenty of iron. Uh, I didn't get down deep enough to find diamond. But I don't have any torches, so I won't really be able to go deeper see, how deep are we? Level 40. So I still had a ways to go. Yeah, we can just head back up. I need to collect... Um, oh, get, eat some bread. I need to collect some of that birch wood out, that's out here anyway. So that's fine. I can... Oh, hello. Ouch. That's probably right in my head. Oh, it's right in my... How did you hit me in the back? <laughs> Uh, that's that's physics for you today, folks. Physics 101. Shoot somebody in the face, hit them in the back. Funny how that works. Enderman over there. Don't want to mess with that right now. Skeleton over there. Uh, yeah, I want to mess with him, though. I want your arrows. Uh, he didn't give me any arrows! Wow, okay. Nope, don't want that. Don't want that. <laughs> No, no. I'm gone. Oh, look, birch tree. Okay, good. Give me some of the wood. Okay, uh, here. Let's, like, hide inside this thing. Okay. And you do this. And then you do this. And then you do this. And I have 64 torches. Hooray. All right, well, because I didn't go down that deep, actually, I was able to collect this pretty quickly. So, let's go see. Let's go see if I can get diamonds. If I get diamonds, that, uh... And I will say that Pride Rock is the the, the king of of more than just the savanna. It's the king of, of giving things that are needed to people who want them. Charitable? Charitable Pride Rock? Hmm, I should probably make a uh, crafting... Yeah, I'll just do this. Make a crafting table. Not only will it allow me to make a furnace so I can cook up some things, but I also need it to bake this bread. What? Yeah, creepy noises of dry. I never got that achievement. <laughs> nice. <laughs> some in there. Let's venture downwards. What's this? We're, huh? So even if I hadn't ventured off the path, I probably would have found this. Uh, well, no, 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 because this, I dug this out, so I would have only found this. 
which does not necessarily lead anywhere. Okay. Uh, actually, hmm. Okay. I've trusted Pride Rock this far. Let's see, did you give me a cave that also possesses diamonds? I'll take that. Redstone. Where are we? We're at height 11. So this is the right height. Basically, I should dig down one more. All right, this is the right height to be looking. Okay, so I don't burn this up. Uh, let's make another crafting table. Huzzah. All right, so I'll cook those up, and we're going to keep digging. A general rule that I follow, and I don't know that it's entirely sound, but the rule I follow is I keep digging at level 10 in a straight direction until I either find diamond or lava. And then I uh, start digging back. Well, if I find diamond, I just head straight back. But if I find lava, then I start doing the, uh, the backwards thing where you... Uh, Dig over three and then dig back toward uh toward the beginning. Hearing skeletons. Oh. Found me some iron. Oh, I'm out of uh inventory space. Is there anything else I can get rid of? Oh, I can get rid of the stupid rotten flesh. I can still hear the flowing water. Okay, now it's getting fainter. So it's back over here. Has to be above me. Can't be below me. There's there's basically nothing below me, right? Yeah, bedrock. Yeah, and the water stops. Okay. So it's above me. Yes, yeah, creepy cave noises. I hear you. Aha! Oh, nope. Crap. <laughs> Stop. Okay, what's over here? Hello, Mr. Spider. There's a light up there. Light probably means lava. Hello, Mr. Creeper. I'm not going to help you. <laughs> you can stay trapped there for all of eternity for all I care. Ah. Yep, lava. A dead skeleton. That was really dangerous. <laughs> okay, let's uh, block this off. Okay, because I want to see what's down there. What height am I at now? 26? So yeah, down there should be. Aha! <laughs> I may not have found diamond, but I found the next best thing. Fantastic. Oh, actually, you don't have to mine these with. Uh... Yeah, that's right. You don't have to mine them with uh, this anymore. You can mine them with uh, just a regular wooden one. Uh, any more? Any more? Just the three pieces? Well, okay. I'm still going to follow the lava down. It revealed the, uh, the lapis for me, so maybe the lava has something else for me? No? Maybe? What were you guarding? You were guarding iron. Not too bad. Wish it were diamonds. Uh, all right. I guess that's all. If, well, okay. I should. I shouldn't be. I should not be upset about that. That's lapis. I mean, we're talking about the thing that I found well after I found diamonds. It took forever for me to find lapis. So there's nothing to be bitter about. I have found lapis. It was not it was not what I originally set out to find, but it was certainly well worth the trip. All right. No, not this way. Hello, Mr. Creeper. I will smite thee. Smite. If only I could actually smite creepers. That'd be awesome. You guys working on the uh, League of Legends mod for Minecraft. Get on it. Let me smite creepers. 
Yeah, this is not the way out. Hey, thank you. Nothingness. Ooh, abandoned mine shaft. All right, now we're talking. Okay, lots of gold. There's probably a ton of resources down here. And those stupid cave spiders are probably down here too. And mass. Yep, there's one. But my sword is running low. Okay, let's uh, dig out. And once I get to the surface again, it will tell me where this is. Now, unfortunately, I am digging underneath Pride Rock. So I need to be careful about that. I'm going to have to have F3 up so I can be paying attention to my height. And if my height gets much above uh, 64, I need to just start digging either left or right. I pick left. I'll start digging left. All right, so I'm at 67. I'll go up a little bit more, and then if I don't hit dirt or something, I'll start digging to the left because I might just be digging straight up into Pride Rock, which I don't want to do. Well, let's head to the left. I can turn off this now because I know what height I'm at. And, uh, yeah, I will eventually emerge somewhere on the surface. I, I know I can't emerge underwater. I might emerge into the side of Pride Rock, like come out on an edge of it. I could even come out over, like, some kind of a, a chasm or cliff or something, but I know I cannot emerge into an ocean because my height is above that of an ocean. Aha! Dirt. Yes! Aha! We made it. And uh, I think this is the right way to go back, right? Yeah, good. Wow. <laughs> good thing I started heading left. I would have gone straight up into the mountain. Although, oh no, that's actually Pride Rock there. This is just the little part behind Pride Rock. Oop. All right, and there's where we entered. Excellent. So the entrance over there leads to an abandoned mine shaft, and uh, the other one leads to uh, where we uh, we entered down, where Pride Rock told us, dig here. There was a big pillar of missing rock that said, dig right here. And we listened, and we found our first ever mine shaft, our first ever dungeon. We got more lapis. Many, many good things have happened. All right, let's head back to this base right here. We are safe and sound. Inside our uh, our base, our home away from home. Still got a bit more work to do on this, but now in the next episode, by the time that comes around, I will have done more work on the Mushroom Farm. Uh, I've been rather busy recently. Uh, I know, for example, I did not get up a video uh, last week, Tuesday, and uh, that is completely because of my busy schedule. Hopefully, I will be able to actually keep up uh, going forward for this year and won't fall behind again. So, thank you all very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time when we uh, venture again out into the uh, wide world of Minecraft, and hopefully I'll have done more work on the Mushroom Farm. NP is not NP! True that! True that! The first one was a lie. This is a title screen. This one speaks truth.